Chris Boxing Boy came with uh, Chris Jenkins. Chris, you okay, mate? Yeah, good. Can't wait to go back and play once you um president now. Sitting here looking at this big massive stadium and Nice isn't it? It's a bit bit different to back home in Swansea, but no salt in it. So you seem very chilled in there, give a good press conference, quite a few funny one-liners and that, it made the room laugh and stuff and just take it on your stride at this stage of your career and just enjoy it. That's it, you know, it's, it's not about being all, it's like someone got a stick up their ass to be on it and it's like, well, just calm down. Yeah. You're not fighting till Saturday. Maybe, maybe you're a bit angry, I don't know. Mm. Maybe they're starving, like, no, I'm, I'm drinking my water in, I've had dinner now, you know, so. I don't know what's wrong, but you know the the press conference was was what it was. I saw respect with me, saw respect to me. Yeah, so, he did. It was nice. And you know, I'm, I've never been a type of fighter to diss a fighter. So you know, it's done now. Um, feeling good though, training good, everything's still still enjoying it, still got the hunger. Yeah, everything's going well. You know, um, obviously I beat the uh, in Gongo last in time. Dongo, yeah, but yeah. then you know he's 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 he's, he's not the Florian Mark who is he? You know, like mm. so. You know, so yeah, I've got to have the fights in the belly, the great team around with the guy logging my course, he's been nice down there, he's wanted to see shit now. So just been speaking to him, he says what did he say? If you spend more than an hour with you, you'll you'll batter someone's head like you. He says oh, you're mad, mad as a box of frogs, he said you were. Yeah. <laughs> well that's why like we we've been here now and it's like he's in his room, I'm in my room, you know, if I give myself go for a walk by, you know, then yeah. the day I'm thirty three years old. Yeah. You know, and if I was 23 again, you know, my mum might be nuts on there, but you just relax. Mm. Do you think that experience and you just get a bit calmer with age and, you know, as I said, you're just coming out here, you've, you've danced this dance, haven't you? Yeah. You've been here, you've done it, like, you know, British champion, like, you've had a great mm. career and is it just now a case of just seeing where it goes, just enjoying yeah, it? Yeah, that's it, you know, I've been there, I've done it, I've got a t-shirt, you know, obviously, yeah. um, a bit, um, unfortunately, some stand, like, you know, we're getting cuts or broken ribs, but, you know, I haven't had a bad career and mm, I still got a couple of fights left in me. Let's hope for everything goes good Saturday and then we'll see what happens then. Is that what you think? A couple of fights? Do you like have you got like an end date and yeah, end goal in mind? Know, I got a pay for the medical for the year, so if we can get a year out now and yeah. get a good few wins, you know, I'll happily sail off the sunset. You know, at the end of the day I got family, I got three young lads and a wife and I so yeah. You know, when I'm away in camp for five, six weeks, you don't see them. And when you've had a back-to-back -back camp like this one, mm. you know, we've hardly seen each other, but it's all worth it in the long run. I suppose that's a side not everyone sees, do you know what I mean? The, the time you, you know, and you've been doing it, what, probably well over 20 years now, you know, I'm a pro and that, and just being away from your family and your kids and mm. press conferences, hotels, it must, you know, and then obviously the fights as well. It must take its toll, do you know what I mean? And, yeah, it's just, um, obviously they're young, so... They might not remember as much yeah. the, the twins are nine and the land's only three so but it is you know you want to do things with them but mm. you can't because you want to go training yeah. or you've got to rest but you know hopefully that's what we do it so we sacrifice so much hopefully we have good rewards at the end i know you mentioned there you might be coming to the end and stuff but still st still fancy your chances saturday night still think you've oh, got i would have turned up there just to make up numbers mm. i've come up at the win you know I've got a game plan we're going to work on and I think it will work. I thought he would be a lot bigger than what he is. Yep. Obviously I'm a lot taller than him. So I'm well known. I, back in the day, five, six years ago, throw both over 100 punches around easy. Now probably half of that. Yeah. But there's going to be a lot more boxing like you know. You're the more experienced man though, like you said, you know, British, British champion, you know, you've boxed at a good level, big shows and stuff. Do you think that'll play a part on Saturday night? And do you think he's in with, obviously he's definitely one of the best opponents yeah, well, he's been in so far? Yeah, the best he's been in with for yeah. a while and he's probably the best I've been in with for a while if you put it out that way. Yeah. He's an angry young fighter. True. Um, but I just can't wait to weigh in on Friday, get it done. <laughs> and then let's go, for, let's go to work Saturday. Brilliant mate, honestly. Nice meeting you and I wish you wish you the best of luck no on Saturday worries, night. No worries, no worries. Um, can I just say something quick? Go on. That's the fact that these sponsors be here. All them guys been there. Well sponsored, aren't you? All the ones in the back. Get in, good lad. Class. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't have been able to have the time off work, so it's ideal then. Brilliant mate. Nice one, Chris. Thank so you, man. mate. Take care.